Hey, how are you? Al, Modern Day Warrior Channel, back with another video. Uh, today, uh, we're going to commemorate uh, two, well, a Rush album and a Rush related album being released on today's date. Uh, we'll get to how many years ago they were. Um, but we're going to just talk a little bit about the two albums and uh, delve into a little, some of the tracks and stuff like that. So, uh, 25 years ago today, we got the Victor album uh, by Alex Lifeson. Um, it's really a solo project, but he built it a, a band name, Victor. Uh, 25 years ago today, this was released. Um, let's see. He's got a uh, core band of uh, Bill Bell on guitar. Blake Manning on drums, they're uh, local Canadian musicians that Alex is friends with, um, and Edwin, a uh, vocalist of a uh, Canadian band, I Mother Earth, make up the bulk of this album. Uh, there are a few other guests, uh, such as Les Claypool of Primus on uh, The Big Dance, uh, that track, he plays the bass on that one, and then uh, a Canadian um, female artist uh, named Dal Bello. Uh, she is a vocalist on one track um, uh, called Start Today. And if you listen to her, she sounds very much like a young Getty almost. There's a few similarities in the voice there, the range and just the tone of the voice. But she's a um, pretty um, acclaimed star on her own, of her own in Canada. Um, a little fun fact that's actually Queensryche. Uh, covered one of her tracks on the Rage for Order album, Gonna Get Close to You. That was a track by Dal Bello, and they covered it on Rage for Order album, Gonna Get Close to You. That was the name of that track. Um, a very eclectic album. I mean, not very... A little more harder edge than... And, not a harder edge, but... I mean, it came out in 96, so... Um, let's see. I mean, the, at the time... You know, grunge, industrial, alternative, those styles of music were the big in the day. And uh, very much a lot of those flavors on this album here. But a lot of great guitar work by Alex. Um, he really gets eclectic. I mean, there's a couple instrumentals on here. Shut Up, Shutting Up is very Zappa-esque with his wife and his wife's friend. Kind of just, you know, going at, uh, just scatting on there and... And saying various things, and uh, according to Alex, uh, he plied them with liquor, put them in the studio, and just let them ramble while uh, over the uh, instrumental track. And uh, it's pretty funny, actually. So I could see that being the big Zappa influence on that track. Um, it starts off with uh, Don't Care, um, that's the opening track. Edwin from I Mother Earth, lead vocals. Uh, Promise was the single off of it. Um, I remember hearing Promise. And that was probably the most Rush-like song um, on there. When I heard it on the radio, I remember uh, hearing it, and I was like, man, it, I just kind of turned on the radio, and I heard this song, and then I was like, it's very Rush-like, but the singer's not Getty. But, man, it's the guitars sound like Rush, you know? And, you know, then the DJ came out, and I was like, ah, that's a new song by Alex Lifeson's Victor and stuff so i got that's how i kind of got wind of the album and then went out and bought the cd uh supposedly it's because because it's the 25th anniversary it's supposed to get a reissue this year uh and probably with bonus tracks and then a vinyl reissue that's i read an article a while back last last year stating that uh hopefully it does supposedly um sebastian bach cut a track as well from skid row and never made the album so Maybe that could be one of the outtakes on the, on this on the reissue if there's bonus tracks on there. Um, again, I read an article somewhere. I can't remember. I can't remember where, but I remember last year there was rumblings of a 25th anniversary reissue of this. So Alex Lifeson's Victor, happy 25th anniversary on that one. Another one celebrating a birthday today. Actually, it's going to be tomorrow. I I checked. I checked. Uh, I checked the date. Um, I think it's wrong on Wikipedia. 
it says that it's today's date, but it's actually, I think, tomorrow. Because I, if you go back to 1989, January 10th, it falls on a Tuesday. And as we all know, albums used to be released on Tuesdays. So I believe it's tomorrow, but we'll celebrate it today. And that's the uh, a Show of Hands live album. It's their third official live album. I do have the vinyl issue right here. Show of Hands vinyl. That's the original vinyl, not the uh, reissue. Um, I never got around to getting the reissue, but yeah, actually this is still sealed. I've never even opened this one. I bought this used at a record convention years and years ago before the whole vinyl. This is probably like in the 90s sometime. And one vinyl was like dead. Nobody nobody was... Uh, excuse me there. Nobody was uh, really buying vinyl at the time. And I got a lot of vinyl dirt cheap. Well, I'm glad I did because it's a lot of the stuff is astronomical now. But great live album. Uh, very much rooted in the 80s material of Rush. Um... It was released in 1989, January 10th. Today's January 9th, by the way. And uh, it's like the cream of the crop of the uh, 80s material. You got, you know, the Big Money, Subdivisions, Marathon, Turn the Page. Uh, this is recorded on the Hold Your Fire Tour and the Power Windows Tour. There's two tracks on here, which is Mystic Rhythms and Witch Hunt which was recorded on the Power Windows Tour at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey in 1986. And then the rest of the tracks are from Birmingham, I believe Phoenix, New Orleans, and San Diego. I believe they kind of picked those. A lot of them, the bulk of the album, I believe, is from Birmingham, UK. But the rest is, they kind of conglomerated a few other dates of the tour. Mission is one of my favorite tracks on here. Um, Alex's guitar solo is just so emotive and just, I mean, it just always brings like, it kind of gets me misty eye. It's a very emotive solo. I love, love one of his greatest solos in my opinion. Uh, you got Distant Early Warning, Manhattan Project. You got Witch Hunt Rhythm Method, which is Neil's solo on here. Force 10, Time Stand Still, Red Sector A, a great one. And the only 70s song that really is on the CD is Closer to the Heart, which closes out the cd the album and um there's also a video release of this which came out the following month comes out came out in february of 89 i remember getting it on vhs uh, i might make another video about rush video releases in the future but for now yeah there was a companion video it was that was filmed ex exclusively in the uk birmingham show and they took some of those songs the bulk of those songs and put it on here but the track listings are very very much that's a complete concert correct running order and everything and um missing still missing a few songs though but but uh i like this album a lot i you know my favorite rush live album is exit stage left that was the first rush album i ever got and it has a sentimental value to me i think i reach more for different stages nowadays i love that one and uh but i haven't reached i listened to this one today and it uh it's very much rooted in the 80s, but still, Rush is Rush. They were still great in the 80s. I followed them all through, and I loved the Power Windows. Hold Your Fire, hmm. You know, I thought Power Windows out of the two uh, big synth albums, Power Windows was more my favorite, but Hold Your Fire's got some great moments on there, too. And, um, you know, and great live album still. I still enjoy listening to it. Don't reach for it as often as I do the others but i tend to reach more for like bootlegs nowadays uh i collected a lot of rush bootlegs and i tend to listen to that a lot more than the official releases a lot of great sound boards even a lot of great audience recordings and uh that's it that's about it and i hope you enjoyed my uh, little rush segment today um please subscribe to my channel and uh and cheers you know have a great one i'll see you later cheers